Hey, what's up? And welcome back to Dust Pumpkin. If you're new here, I'm Harsh Newby, and I'm so glad you're here today. This week's vlog is dropping pretty late. That's because I accidentally deleted the footage and everything like that. Uh, but I would like to give you a little summary of last week. I wanted to start the week with a good note, so I thought of picking back up on reading a Noel. I usually don't read a Noel. I usually just, you know, watch anything online. But this time I thought, you know, I should start reading again. I picked Eleanor and Puck and I'm so glad I did because I really loved how real and easygoing that story was. I ended up spending the entire week reading that book and I'm so glad I did. If you guys have been watching my previous vlogs, you know that I'm applying for jobs. So basically one of the company got back to me and they said, you know, let's have an interview that Friday. I also attended a prayers that we did for our late grandfather and it all went well. And mentally I was good so I think it was a great week for me that marks the end of the summary. If you notice, I'm wearing an Indian traditional top. Uh, that's because I'm gonna head to the temple shortly, so I will see you in a bit. I'll have to fix myself with some good earrings. morning I had a good workout session a good yoga session I feel good right now I'm thinking you know I want to plan out the content for dust pumpkin I'm gonna be journaling today I'm gonna plan out the things that I want to do for YouTube and Instagram and TikTok so if you guys are not following me on the other social medias please do and also subscribe to dust pumpkin because I kind of mentioned weekly vlogs uh, on Instagram last week and I why does it have to happen to me like I mentioned that I'm gonna come out with weekly vlogs and then on that week is when I delete all the footage so this week's vlog is coming late side note I have finished reading Alon Park and it was such a cute cute story and I am going to find more books like that because that was so cute. Right now I'm reading Remember Me by Sophie Kinsella. I know I'm late to the party but for those of you who don't know the story, basically it's 13 going on 30. Yeah so I'm only in like the first three chapters and and guess what's my um, postcard? No it's not my postcard. My bookmark you guys. It's JK. It's J freaking K. Anyways, back to planning because I'm getting way too distracted right now. So I'm just gonna shut up and do this and you're gonna watch it on montage. It's a Thursday um, and I'm so sorry there's this stupid noise because my mom's seatbelt is not on she went to get stuff and I'm in the car so oh my god I look like a fat potato <laughs> yo mommy I'm going out to get a couple of things because tomorrow we're gonna go uh, to the beach we're gonna have a little weekend trip to the beach I hope it's fun the sad part though it is raining so bad like nowadays it's always raining it's always cold so i don't know if the beach trip is gonna be a great idea uh but i have a lot a lot of tiktok plans a little dance planned um at the beach so i'm excited for that look out for that if you guys um are not following me on tiktok and instagram again let me plug it to you guys please follow me right now
Okay, so about a lot of things, I thought of doing a little haul for you guys. We got Ozan white coffee, bow tea, and of course we bought milk to go with that. Now it's time for snacks. Uh, usually for the road trip, we get a lot of um, nuts, like peanuts, um, cashew nuts. This is honey roasted um, cashew nuts. We got salted pistachios. And then we have dried pitted prunes. Uh, I don't, I've never really tried this one. I hope they're good. We also have Assam, Polo, Strepsils, Mint flavored Mentos. For chocolate, we only got sneakers. That's because we didn't want the chocolate to melt. So we'll probably get more on the road trip. We got Mr. Potato Crisp. If you guys know Cha Un Woo, he's here too. We got Snack Kus Mimi. It's my childhood snack. My mom got Supering because it's her favorite. And we got a big bag of Chipster for my brother. That's all the snacks that we got. And then we also went to Watson's to get a couple of things. First one, of course, it's a protective face mask. We got the K94. Um, we got in cool black, navy blue, cotton white, and sky blue. I got a sun lotion, Nivea Sun SPF 50. I actually have a sunscreen and my brother's gonna bring one and I ordered another one. So this guy was kind of like an emergency thing. So that's why I got a small tube. And finally, we got a mosquito repellent. I don't know if this will work with the sand flies, but we're just bringing it in case. And that is all the things that we got. I'm so excited to see the blue ocean and the water and the sand and just be at the beach. It's such a therapeutic time for me and it's my happy place. So it is 5.45 right now. I got an email from one of the company and they got back to me regarding my job application. I was invited to do an online assessment. I'm a little nervous because I need to get this assessment done in an hour and another assessment will take about 40, 30 to 40 minutes to get done. So I, I hope it's okay. I hope it's easy and everything. <sighs> Wish me luck, you guys. All right, so I'm supposed to be packing right now because it is eight something. It is not, oh, bro, it's like five more minutes to nine o'clock and I haven't even had my dinner. But I'm just glad I had the assessment today and not tomorrow because I should be relaxing by the beach tomorrow. But now I got two parcels to open and I wanted to kind of do it with you guys. I'll do the first one because it's interesting. Uh, I've already kind of told you guys that I ordered um, sunscreen. This is the one, it is the Natural Vita Moist Sun Cream 50 SPF. I bought two of these under eye uh, masks. Oh my god, this is awfully small. But it's the Lanane, or I don't know how you actually pronounce it, I'm sorry. But it's basically a lip sleeping mask. Um, I'm gonna try this today. Hopefully it kind of hydrates my skin. I mean my lips. The second one is something exciting. Then we got two sunglasses you guys okay let me so this one is like has an edgy like sides it looks very like I don't know what you call it but let me just show you how I'll wear it girl give me some iced tea oh my god you're gonna see awfully annoying um, pictures on Instagram with this little thing so it's not even yeah it is <laughs> I'm so happy with this guy and then the other one, this funky look as well, but it is more of an oval shape, like kind of a retro thing. I don't know if I'm even saying that. <gasps> look at me, guys. Stop it. Ices imported from England. Lifeguards imported from Spain. Ice tea imported from England. Lifeguards imported from Spain. I'm so expensive right now, so I'm loving these. Um, sunglasses if you want them go get them on Shopee I'll probably link them down below <gasps> I'm so happy oh, I look like a weirdo with two sunglasses I got an extra dust bag so I can throw them in <laughs> so cute I'm so glad that these products came in time uh, I was actually very worried that I won't be having these sunglasses by the time I went to go to the beach but now I do and I'm so excited um, I'm gonna go down and show my mom the glasses Nothing like your smile in the morning Following the linings on your cheeks Cause baby in your absence
since I 